hi and hello and how are you and here I are and I want to do something today I'm going to start something that I want to put in my slow stitch um, fabric pillow journal and and what I have is I got a piece of this here fabric that has got faces on it I love this it's a Lorelei fabric and um and i'm going to see i don't think i want that one although i probably could use that one but why don't i not want that one i don't know i want to get this one and so i'm just gonna now this is going to be a slow stitching project and we all are aware that slow stitching has no rules and you don't really um, have to worry about the outcome of the project. You just, and, and usually when you start, when you really don't have a plan, you just kind of just stitch it away. But this one here, I want to sort of had a plan because I have these little faces and I think they're just so adorable. And so what I did when I put my kits together that I put on my Etsy, I put in each one of my kits, I put a, um, I think I put two faces in each one just in case somebody wants to make something like a little lady. And so I just assumed that everybody would want to make one because they're so cute. I don't know how to work out, but see, I'm just going to start with her face here. <coughs> this is a, a sample of um, some kind of, oh, it's suitable for for light use upholstery. So it's some kind of a, a up, upholstery fabric. So that's what I'm going to use as the background. And I believe, because the kits are all different, but I believe I put a couple of upholstery samples in each one as well. So this is how I'm going to start this with her little head. And isn't she beautiful? She, I think she's just gorgeous. I really ought to make copies of this before I cut it all up. I need to copy it and make paper copies. But anyway, then what I want to do is, let's see, what I think, what to do, what to do, do what I do, what I do, what I do, do what you want to do today. Hmm. I've had such a good day. I've had a whole good weekend. Um, my Jeffrey was here because his mama worked, but he's went home now. And um, I gave the dogs a bath this morning, so they were happy about that because they love their baths. Well, I fill up the kitchen sink with hot, sozy water, and they think they're at the spa. They just, why is that doing that? Because I got all them dots. Okay. Um, sorry about that jiggling of the camera. Sometimes if the camera doesn't have something to focus on, then it just wants to jiggle jet. What am I doing? I can't put the needle into the th thread. I need to put the thread into the needle. No, I need to put the needle threader into the needle. So yeah, the dogs got a bath. And so they're all squeaky clean. And what else did I do? Oh, I got my things listed. I got a few things listed on my Etsy. So I did that today. And I got some laundry done today. And I made Jeffrey pancakes today. That's a lot of stuff for an old woman. I'm trying to get this needle threader into the needle hole. Uh, maybe if I pick up this pair of glasses, maybe that'll help. Let me check. Let me check and see if it... Oh, that's the whole needle hole. Well, if that just isn't... There we go. Now we are cooking. So, then put the thread through there. I have purple thread here because I don't know why. Okay, so, 
yeah so it's been a good day i think i'm gonna go to bed early well i don't know if i want to go to bed early I, I don't know geez i gotta keep my arm down there otherwise that whole thing's gonna just flash until you all start having seizures okay ding somebody sent me a message okay so to put this little her little head on i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put her little head on now I could glue it on if I so chose to do that, but I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to put a little, like a little stitch. I'm just going to do a little tiny running stitch, and it really won't even be noticeable to go on around her little head. And so I'll just do that, just like I know what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, that's why I'm just like I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, I've had a good day. Um, okay, I'm watching what I'm doing, and I don't know why. What, why, what's bringing me this silence? I don't know. You see, silence is golden, but for me, silence means I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay, let's see. We're getting, we're getting her hair dead on here. Now I'm here. She really is pretty. She's a very pretty lady. I love her lips. I've never had many lips. Well, I've always had two lips. But my lips are that, you know, they don't show up. You know, I have... Like a big nose and little lips. I wish I had big lips and little nose. Nah. I like my big nose and little lips. I may not have a big nose pretty soon, though. I don't know. Depends on what they want to cut out of it. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. We're getting this here cut. Cut out. I, no, we're not getting it cut. Good grief, Elizabeth. Oh, look. She doesn't have a nose. Well, there you go. And she looks fine without a nose. So if they take my whole nose off, hey, it's good. No, I'm already planning nose masks. So, see, I have to go on Tuesday. They'll take a biopsy off of my nose. And um, then I have to wait for the results of the biopsy. See here, right in my arm? See them stitches? I took the band-aid off. That's where they took the skin. Skin cancer is a real thing, you guys. You what? Especially if you're don't be a sun worshiper. Man, you gotta got guard your skin, cause that sun will eat you alive. And so I know there's people that'll just lay out in the sun and lay in the sun. Be sure you don't. You know, I don't know. It's just not good when that. Sun, the sun can have an effect. The sun is nice, but wear some um, sunscreen. Wear um, like a head protection, like a hat shaded. Because see, now I got to go on Tuesday and get a biopsy done on my nose, and they're going to decide whether or not they're going to decide what to do with it. It's pretty much definitely some kind of cancer. But um, I'm thinking the worst, and I'll just whack my whole nose off, and I'll be noseless. I couldn't, I wouldn't be a nosy person anymore if I don't have a nose. But I figure I'll go to the Halloween store and um, buy one of them pair of glasses, you know. That's like these big old glasses and then the, a, a big old nose on the glasses. Yeah, that'll work. I can do that. That'll, that'll make me happy. Mm -hmm. At least I'll have a nose, right? Yeah, I just really am not concerned too much. I'm not too concerned. Yes, I am. I'm lying. I'm worried to death. Oh, good grief. Yeah, geez. So, I will know a little bit more on Tuesday, maybe. But Tuesday is just only a biopsy. Then I don't know how long it takes for them to get the results of the biopsy so yeah hmm. 
Who needs a nose? Since this piece on my arm was cancerous, they think the nose is true. But I'm going to a different doctor for that. I'm going to the dermatologist for that. Did I already go there? Did I already go there? Can't even see the thread. Okay, so that's... Now I got her... <clears throat> her little face is on there. Her cute little face. Ow! Elizabeth... Okay, so let me just nip that off of there. And now her little face is on there. See? You know, I could have put a little puffy under there so her face would be a little round. But I didn't think about that till just this very second. So now I have this, like, green, green fabric. And so if I make her, like, a little blouse, what about that? What about it? So what if I make her like a little blouse? Should she be skinny or should she, should she be chubby? You know what I should have done? I should have, but I didn't have, is I should have trying to shape just like in a little blouse. She's just going to be like a raggedy Ann. Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Anita. No, that is not good. Let's see. I'm going to go with this pink instead. Okay, so I'm going to take this pink. Because that was too skinny anyway. I don't like skinny women. They don't look healthy. Okay, so I'm going to, this time, I'm going to leave it folded in half. Okay, so we'll make a neck. And then we'll go down here with the arm. And then we'll go here with the armpit. And then we'll go here with the, okay, let's see how this looks. What do you think about this one, Beatrice? Okay, that's better. That's better. Look at that on there. But look at this for the skirt. Look at this chunk. Look at this beautiful chunk. This is beautiful. Anything with um anything with unicorns is beautiful. So this now can be her skirt. This is going to be her skirt. So let's see how we'll do this. Let me just cut a... These little scissors are not bad. These you can get at Dollar Store for a dollar, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But I have put, because I was gifted like a whole bunch, like 50 of them from my friend, gifted them to me. And so I, in the kits that I put together, they're on my Etsy store, um, I actually have something in my Etsy store. I can't believe I did that. They're, they've got a pair of these scissors in there. But I'm amazed how they will... Um, where put that? Jeez, I threw that over there. I'm amazed how well they cut fabric. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're going to go with, with, we're going to go with this. We're going to just get this into like a bit of a shape, like a bit of a shape. Put her here, put this here. Oh, I want to cut the bottom into like a scallop. I could put lace. Oh, you know what? Maybe she does. Ma'am, would you like lace on your dress? Let's see. See, I don't know if she wants lace. You know, she may not. She might not be the lacy kind of a little girl. But let's see. Let's put this here. Do you want? Do you want your shirt tucked in, ma'am, or would you like your shirt to be a out hanger? 
let's look here let you decide you want it tucked in oh okay she wants it tucked in okay there we go so her shirt's going to be tucked in see look at that wait a minute let's just a minute ma'am beatrice let me look in this here thing because i might have oh beatrice you wait till you see this you would see this idea that that there lace is too fat we don't want anything fat see this is this is quite fatness no that's too much this one okay that's gonna be this one okay put that back in this bag put this down here oh it fell on the floor okay everything falls on the floor in my house Mm -hmm. I don't have the, um, you know, when you look in the magazines and you see the good housekeeping, the house of America or whatever, the house of the year. Yeah, you won't see my house in there. Okay, now let's see. So if this goes under here, look at that, would you? Look at that, would you? And this is going to go in my little journal, my little pillow journal. Oh, this, that lace, it's got to be there. Now let me put a little pin there. I'll put a little pin. Let me put a little pin. And I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just piecing her together now so that she, I just love little dolls. I like paper dolls. And so this would be like a paper doll except you make it with fabric. Now, see, she's got awful skinny. Well, it's all right. Um, so, you know, this piece right here that I cut off before of that other piece. This might make a nice belt. I think that is just awesome. Now, she's going to need arms. Arms. She needs arms. You need arms, sweetie? She needs arms. Well, what if she doesn't have arms and she just had a, like a little cape? You know, like Wonder Woman. Does Wonder Woman have a cape? Okay, let's see. Let us see about this. What all can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can do something as good as you. Now, there's a lot of things. Oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? Wait a minute. She needs arms. Definitely needs arms. Okay, just a minute. I'm looking at stuff here. What about this little piece of fabric right here? Um. Hmm. What if, what if, let's see, what if I, well, what if she has longer sleeves? Oh, maybe I'm going to switch my mind around here. What if I make her some long sleeves? Let me try something. Let me, where did my sisters go? Oh, yeah. How in the world did they fall on the floor? What? This is not right. Oh, there they are. Okay, so if I go like this. If I go like this. And then. Okay, so then the bottom. Then the neck here. And then, and then, hmm. not sure if this. Yeah, okay, so now she has long sleeves. Let's save this for a different person. 
That would be, oh gosh, get, it, get your breasts covered up here. There we go. Now, oh, wait a minute. I can't put that under your head. Your head's already sewed on. There, now. Like this, now. See, and then if she, if I take beads and I sew them down here for her collar, and then she doesn't really need hands. I might put a button on each end for a hand. I'm at buttons here. Oh my word. If I put, yeah, I'm good. I got a plan. I have a plan. Now, if I, yes, I'm. A, she's going to have button hands, buttons on her shirt. No, she needs, well, maybe, well, let's just get going here. Let's get going here before I completely change my mind. If I can get this little needle. I'm using little thread, so I need a little needle. And so I'm going to put this needle threader back through here. Oh, you know what? I need to put a pin. I need to put a pin here to hold her belt on. Make sure, keep her. She does not want to be exposed now. Okay, now. I don't now forgot her name. Well, it's Gertrude. We'll change her middle name is Gertrude, so I'll just um, call her by her middle name, Gertrude. Gertrude, you're beautiful. Oh, I guess this is her nose here sticking out like this. Yeah, that might be what mine's going to look like. Two big old holes in the front of my face. Okay, I got to quit worrying about that nose. I'm going to quit worrying about the nose. <gasps> Get in there. Okay, there it's in. See, I had to speak harshly to my needle threader. Okay, so I'm going to use this here thread that is multicolored polyester. Polyester would be a good name for a person. Polly for her first name, Esther for her middle name. Mm-hmm. Polyester. Do you want to be polyester? See, I can change your name if I want to. I'm her mother. I can change her name midstream. Maybe I'll name you polyester. Polly or Esther. I can call you either one. But now I can't even thread the needle threader. Something's not right with me. Okay, let's see if I can get this in here. I had it in there and then it fell out. Okay, this is, I'm not right though, you guys. So just keep that in mind is I'm not right. So, and I'm not left either. So I don't know what's left. If you're not right, you're not left. What's left? Okay, now wait a minute. Let me get this in here. Now I can't even find the end of the thread. We're working on this though. What in the world is wrong with me today? Hmm. I gotta quit worrying about my nose. It's making my whole brain go bananas. Now what am I doing? Where's the end of this thread? There it is. Okay, now. Well, maybe if I don't have that background behind it. That, oh, good grief. Maybe I should put this on pause till I get this needle threaded. Just a second, you guys. Okay, that's through the needle threader. Now, I think I've oh, think I've got it. Okay. What was that riddle we heard today? We were, <laughs> this morning me and Jeffrey were asking um Alexa to give us riddles. She had some that were that were um some were a little goofy. Now I can't get the thread out of the needle. Oh, good night. How'd that needle threader twist like that? Okay, what was that? She sent, she said one riddle that had something to do with a smelly jacket. 
Um, what jacket? What kind of jacket? Oh, what tin kind of jacket smells the worst? Okay, what kind of jacket smells the worst? Now, we learned this from Alexa. Do you give up? A windbreaker. We thought that one was funny. Oh, man, we just laughed. <laughs> windbreaker is the smelliest sort of jacket. Made me remember my grandma. She always called she called it breaking wind. I think that's what people called, you know what, in the the air fort, you know. The stinky air fort. And they used to um it was called windbreaker. I mean, yeah, breaking wind used to call it so that's the smelliest kind of a jacket, a windbreaker. So anyway, we learned that from Alexa. There was a couple more too, but they weren't really funny. Not that we think they were anyway. But we was having fun. We have a lot of fun with Alexa. She's amazing. Maybe because she's new to me. She's just come into our family. My daughter had her for a couple of years or something. And she says, we don't ever talk to the old gal anymore, so you can have it. So I said, okay, so we're having fun with old Alexa. But she pretty is, is pretty good because, you know, like I wanted to know what kind of birds attract, I'm not birds, what kind of flowers will attract hummingbirds in Florida? And she said, hanging begonias. So now I want to get me a hanging begonia to put on my front porch and see if the hummingbirds will come to my hanging begonia. I have a hummingbird feeder out there. We put that up last year, but I never saw any hummingbirds. Now, to about three or four days ago, I saw a hummingbird in the yard. Now, it didn't go to the hummingbird feeder. It just was kind of gallivanting around the yard. And so then we put fresh nectar into the hummingbird feeder, hope, hoping that she will, or he, or it will go in to the, go get some nectar from the feeder. But so far I haven't seen it again. But then I do want to get a hanging begonia. And so that I can see if the hummingbirds will come to it. And so me and Tommy Sue might go to Walmart tomorrow to the nursing, not the nursing home, the, um, you know, the plant nursery, whatever they call that place, and see if they got any homing, not homing pigeons, oh, good night, Elizabeth, hanging begonias. Then I'll hang the begonia on the shed, Fred. No, not that. I'm going to hang the begonia on the front porch. And then we'll see if, if the um, hummingbirds will come to it. I hope so. We, like, we have, I got a new bird feeder for Mother's Day from my other daughter, from my little Jen. And she brought, oh, a bird feeder and the bird seed. And so, and it is so awesome. Within an hour after that was put up, we had a red-headed woodpecker. We also had cardinal, Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal. Blue jays, lots of blue jays. We always have lots of blue jays. And some little brown birds that I'm not sure what they are, but I think they might be like um, sparrows, not sparrows, but... Maybe they're like finches. Little, they're a little like a finch. I don't, I don't know really what they are. They're just birds with feathers. Little brown birds with feathers. That's what they are. And so we've had a lot of those. And it is so funny to watch the squirrels. Because we have the... the um, 
I shouldn't pick because we feed the squirrels too, but they got a different feeder. But um, but th like the squirrels will try it because the bird feeder is up on like what they call a shepherd's hook, and so it's like a real skinny thing, and the squirrels can climb it, but they do have a little trouble. Because they climb a little bit, then they fall down, then they climb a little bit again, and then they fall down. And so they do have a little problem. And so, but they will get up there. They'll get up there, and when they get as up high enough where they can reach over to the, the bird seed, they'll reach like one hand over there to the bird seed and get a hold of the bird. So they got, some of their feet are still on the pole, and like one hand will be on the, on the on the bird seed thing and and they're just trying all their might to get up there and get a couple seeds and usually by then they fall they don't have a far way to fall you know it's just like a couple feet and then they just try right away to get back up in there but they don't get to eat much bird seed because they don't have that much talent and so but it is so much fun to watch them try it gets so we feel feel like we're their exercise coach, you know, because they um, we give them their workout there. Now, see, as I'm trimming, I'm as I'm stitching around this. My stitches are big. See how they're big. But you know what? That's okay. You know, some people might be able to stitch that where you don't even see the stitches. But not me. I am a... I like seeing the stitches. I like seeing the stitches. I think it's beautiful. I don't think everything has to be perfect. I think everything just has to be beautiful. And this is beautiful. And um, this is going to go in my book. My fabric journal book. If you haven't seen my fabric, fabric journal couch pillow. No fabric couch pillow journals I've got two three of them going I have three of them going but see there um the cover is a placemat like a fabric placemat all the fabric placemats I've got gotten for mine and for the kids are um from my very first one I got was a gift that was already a fabric journal. And I made it into a pillow journal. So instead of having your couch pillow stuffed with, with um, stuffing and fiber fill or whatever, you have it, you have pages in it. You have pages and you have slow stitching on the pages. And then you have like ribbons or pieces of fabric, strips of fabric or something that you make for the ties. And you make, like, I have three ties. No, on one of them I only have one tie right in the center. And then one of them I have three ties on the edge. That You just tie those ties then. You tie them ties and it holds your, your um, journal together. And there you have... A beautiful because you decorate the front too you decorate we well, can decorate the front and the back and um, and then you have a beautiful pillow on your couch that you can read I mean people when you have guests come over usually you you know really fancy people they have coffee table books well we don't fit that category of fancy people so we don't have coffee table books well we don't even have a coffee table and so um, we have couch pillow books. So then guests can just open the couch pillow book and look at the pages or read the pages and whatever. And this little lady is going to be on one of the pages. But um, I, when you have something like this, you can, now, now if I was sitting for instance, if I'm sitting with one of my grandchildren and we're on the couch and we open up a book, we can make this little lady um, polyester, polyester Brewer Phillips, um, 
we can wait a minute I'm concentrating on this thread that just got twisted there we go I'm almost out of thread on this thing so I have to be careful but I'm gonna I probably won't finish this whole project right here while I am on this here video ing thing because I want to show you something else uh, I mean I want to show you what I'm going to do okay so I'm just going to get this piece of thread through here and then that kind of holds that okay so there now I'm out of thread I'm going to pull that through out of now see I'm, she's going to get a necklace with beads and then I think I'm going to put a button for each of her hands or maybe I'll hang a charm and then I'll put something that'll make maybe look like a buckle right here I still have to sew along the edge. But this is the thing. This is the thing. I got this fabric. I love, love, love this fabric. Look at the little houses and stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one of these or two of these. Ooh, I want this one. Now, this, I think all of my kits have a little piece of this fabric, too. I try to put as much. It, each kit has got a pound and a half. The total weight of the kit is a pound and a half. So there's quite a bit of fabric in there that you can play with. So if I have that house there, and then, let me see. Let me see what else. Ooh, ooh la la. Oh, wait. First I want to cut. First I want to. I don't want to. There we go. Okay, this one here. So I can cut this house out right here, there, and then look at here. I have this fabric, and I think I even put this fabric in the kit, some of this, which you don't get a very big piece, but you get some. And if you got a piece, if you get a piece and you don't have a whole bus on it, then like this, like this piece here, if you put it at the bottom, in fact, I'm going to use that piece there instead of a whole bus. I think I will. Anyway, I'm going to see if it fits. No, it won't fit down here. What if I just do it like this? Well, let me see. Now, what, what I was, the point I was going to make is Okay, now if you have this pretty lady, and um, here's a school bus right here. See, by putting that, because it's not a whole bus, it doesn't show, if you put it down to the bottom, if it was just a half a bus this way, you could put it over to the side, and it'd still be fine. So I can put this school bus right here. Now... That turns this little lady into a teacher. She could be a teacher. And she's waiting for this bus to come to the school. Maybe this. And you know what? I think I might have some fabric that has some pencils on it. Boy, would that be cool. So you can, or I could just take, now I'm just cutting this. I'm sort of, it's sort of fussy cutting. And these little scissors are amazing. I am amazed that these scissors cut so well. This is her house. This is where she lives. 
It's okay if it overlaps her. I ain't even worried about that. This is this is the teacher. She lives here. Or maybe that this might be the schoolhouse. That might be what that is. And then maybe this is her house. I'm telling you what you can have fun doing. This is a fun, fun, fun thing. Maybe, what if I put that house here and then we don't even have to worry about her hand. That could be the schoolhouse there. And this could be her house right here. And she's just got her hands behind them. Yeah, her house, her schoolhouse. This is the schoolhouse. Because when we start, when this is in a book, and I start talking to my little, my little, um, grandchildren, like, uh, and we go through a story, we, we create a story from the picture in the book, then, um, anything can be anything. So here is my beautiful teacher. Her name is Miss Esther. Miss Esther, Polly Esther Brewer Phillips. That's her, and she's a teacher, and um, she's waiting for the kids to come because they're and they're all smiling, so they're happy to see her. And somebody snuck their little doggie on the pit on the bus, so um, reminds me of back in the day when um, Mary snuck her sheep, you know, or lamb or something to school one day. And, um, but see, they're all happy because they see their teacher standing there waiting. And she's smiling because she's happy. And then this is the school. This is the school that they're all going to go into that school. And they're going to learn their ABCs and their one, two, threes. And they're going to learn that. And I might, I got some fabric out in the other room that's got like little birds on it. And I might put some birds up in the sky here, in the polka dotted sky. And it's a polka dotted fabric, so they live in a polka dotted world, which a polka dotted world is a good world for unicorns. And there's unicorns on her skirt. But now this is going to go in my book. I ain't kidding you. It's going to be beautiful. I think she's beautiful already. Do you see that? You see her? She's beautiful. I got finished sewing her, and I'll finish sewing her, but I'm not going to finish it all right this very minute. I'm going to probably go sit in my lazy chair and get it, get it, um, get it sewed up in my lazy, you know, I just, just because I'm really good at being lazy. And so that's what I'm going to do. But that's the beginning, the starting of my slow stitched page one of my slow stitch pages that got and every one of my slow stitch pages turns out different and I don't even this one here I had sort of planned because I had the little face and um and then I got more faces so I might make some more of the little, but I'm gonna put she's gonna get a necklace and then I may not put a button but maybe I'll put her a flower or maybe I'll put her a flower right here maybe I'll put her a bow in her hair that would be awesome to put a bow in her hair and I think that would be beautiful and so she will she will have a beautiful page her name's Polly Esther took me a minute to get that name thought up of but Miss Polly but her children her students here they call her Miss Esther yeah okay I'm gonna read to you something out of this here book about you are stronger than you know see words of hope and encouragement for someone living with chronic illness my chronic illness is old age okay give here we are going to just open to this page because that's where it open to and it says give friends and family the opportunity to support you ask for help whether you need a hand with running errands or washing dishes, or you just want some company, never hesitate to reach out to family and friends, allowing those who love you to rally around to, to rally around you will lighten your load and warm, warm your heart, hearts. And Ali Sawyer wrote that part. And this part here was written by Donna Gephardt, where she says, 
Friends and family are most important during your most difficult moments and exciting triumphs. They stand beside you. Keep them with you always. They will make life's journey much more rich and rewarding, not to mention fun. And yes, I have my family around me, and I have all of you. I have all of you. And you just don't know how much I count on your friendship. And your, your comments that you leave, your friendship, um, your messages you send, those give me so much support. And yes, they make my journey in life more rich and rewarding, not to mention fun. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to finish my little polyester here. And, um, and um, yep, that's the name that stuck. Polly Esther, that's her name. Okay, and so God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and bring you back safely and soundly to the next video. God bless, and have the rest of your day wonderful, and the rest of your week, and the rest of your month, and the rest of the year, and then next year, too. I love you guys. Bye-bye.